this receptor we never knew existed until 1995, 1998, it's called a Sigma-1 receptor. The Sigma-1 receptor we thought initially was more like uh, something that was responsible for pain with opiates. And so if the opiates bind to that, then you get pain relief. It turns out that we now know that it's, it's much more than that. It is the communication between the mitochondria and the outside world. I think I was the first to begin to look at Sigma-1 in the context of neuroprotection and neuroregeneration and how to drive that Sigma-1 with these neurosteroids to regenerate new cells, uh, new brain cells, new connectivity, and specifically to make the cell you want. So if you want a cell type that makes new myelin, you drive it with progesterone. If you want a cell type that makes new memory, you drive it with DHEA. If you want new overall brain recovery, you drive it with pregnenolone. So we can drive that Sigma-1 receptor to do what we want it to do. Um, that's huge. And now we've been able to prove that we can, with these neurosteroids and this combination of supplements, that we know make the brain work a certain way, we can know by showing the connectivity improvement with the Wavi scan. Hopefully we can also prove it with the diffusion tensor imaging and the magnetoencephalograms. Uh, Hopefully we can show different aspects of proof of reconnections of the brain. I know it works. The patients know it works. We're seeing it on the Wavi scans and the science shows that it happens. It's kind of an interesting area of, of uh, research. But I think now that we know some of the science of these Sigma-1 receptors, I think that we ought to be able to repair. What we've seen in the clinic is that patients who even long after their injury were still paralyzed and still had no movement or no sensation. After about 90 days on this protocol, they began to move things or they began to feel things. So now that we know specific mechanisms of, of making the stem cells become what we want them to become via these neurosteroids, science can move forward with regeneration of brain tissue. It's fantastic.